So I bought more carbon fiber foil from eBay to uh, finish the rest of the core. So uh, for now I'm gonna wrap the radiator. So I'll put the sides and the things you can see in carbon fiber. And I will also try to um, wrap more of the PSU and the base of the graphics card. So where it's holding it and that should be good then I will see if I can wrap anything else that hasn't been wrapped and after that I will finish off the water cooling so I have been slacking a bit so I have to catch up to that I might also wrap some stuff like the pumps uh, plastic and from the reservoir so maybe even the fans, not the fans themselves, but the fan bases, the sides, that that might be possible. I will paint these like I have done with these. So uh, yeah, it's going to be some interesting stuff. So since I have a new monitor, I can actually use this angle. And uh, yeah, this time you can see how I do it. So I mounted the camera on top of the monitor, which is actually pretty useful. It gives me a really good view. The laptop was too uh, low to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I put the carbon fiber just on top lined up and let it go over everything else so I can cut away the excess. So this is pretty good. That way I can let it go over and just cut away what I don't need. Heat it up, get it around all the corners nice. So it's really just as easy. Now I need to grab my heat gun and heat it up. All right, so I wrapped a bunch. You can see my wrapped uh, radiator. And I also wrapped the bottom, the stands for the pump. And I wrapped the stuff that go where it's screwed in. And I wrapped the pump and we have the acrylic here and then I wrapped this which is the bottom side of the reservoir then we have the reservoir itself and then I wrapped the top the sides look not that nice but this is very zoomed in I can't really do much about that but the top looks pretty good and this looks re really good and I actually got it aligned the right way too so this is how it will sit in the end so this is all wrapped looking all good and the bottom stand so I'm gonna mount that to the core and it should look pretty dope I mounted the plate it's completely wrapped even the thing that holds the pump up is wrapped and the, ra the radiator will go over this it's a triple radiator so it covers it all I still have to clean the reservoir it's not clean but I wrapped that one I wrapped the pump and I have a transparent block on there looking really good everything is fine uh, you can see the pump and reservoir not that high so you still see a good chunk of the radiator which will be dope and I managed to get this on this side so uh, here will the tubes go up to the processor from the processor it will go to the radiator from the radiator it will go down in here perfect gonna be good and then I have some green fluid for in here will look good so I saw a video of a guy and he said you have to like sacrifice some of these pins but I actually managed to get them apart really easy without any pin breaking. Every pin is functional on both fans so this is disassembled. What I do is I just tape off the bottom side and paint this so uh, that's what I did with this one. Uh, I messed a little bit up on the paint with this one unfortunately I can try to stop it. Uh, this spot here looks a bit off as you can see it's not perfect I had to scrap some off but that's the only one that looks bad the rest is pretty good so that's unfortunate but this way I put it on the bottom so the pump and reservoir will be in front of it anyway so you won't really see that but uh, yeah it still looks good when it's spinning and here's the stuff that goes on top so you can disassemble these really easy and I can as reference use this one just to show how it would look so this is how it would look like so like this <laughs> that's not bad I could now technically also flip it and have two black ones and one green ones 
I don't know, I'll try to check it out, what looks better. So this is how the fan looks after I painted it. As you can see I just wrapped it with a lot of tape, it takes some time. And then I primered it and spray painted it, so uh, yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's not as visible in real than on the video, but the rest is actually perfect. So the fan is back together and all you have to do to disassemble them is stick something in there and then hold it like this on the top and on the bottom and you push your thumb down and this up so you really push and while this is pushed in and then it clicks and you get a space in here and you push like something in there and then you do the same thing on the other side and then it will click completely loose and then you do a second one if it's still stuck and after that one is guaranteed to open so it's really easy but uh, my fan is back together now all I have to do is put a sticker on it and mount it on my radiator here we go, carbon wrapped radiator along with a green, black and green Thermaltake ring fan with the 100ME stickers on it, the Dragon logo and green backlighting but the one thing I'm not sure about if I should take this one apart and make the frame green, I don't know, it, sh it could be nice it would like uh, be the same thing as I have with the video card. As you can see, this one is green, but this one is black, and I have the surroundings in green. Maybe that would look good on the radiator as well. I'm not too sure. I will, I will think about it and figure something out. But for now, I'll have to reinstall the radiator on the core and see how it looks for now and if it works because the painting is pretty much ir irreversible, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go. And again, I'm always gonna clarify that the green that you see on screen is not the green, it's exactly perfect, like lime grass green with yellow through it. It has multiple shades, it's really cool. I just can't get a focus on that. Like this is more yellow, and this is more green, it's very specific, and you can see it in real, like you can see a little bit more green, the ye yellow down there. But uh, that's pretty much everywhere the case. It looks really good. And now I'm going to wrap the power supply and the dock for the graphics card. So the graphics card is over here. And over there is the dock. So I'm going to wrap the inside and the outside of that. And I already wrapped this one. So now I'm going to wrap this one probably. Maybe do the top side. I'm not sure. I have a lot of wraps so I, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to clean some stuff because it looks nasty. There, some progress already made. As you can see, I didn't like wrap everything. I've done, shown this in another video, but I just wrap what is visible. Same I did here, but it will look good. I'm unsure if I should wrap the sticker. I might wrap from up here. So like this line where the sticker starts, not gonna wrap. I'm just gonna wrap around it. I might do that. That's gonna look pretty decent, I think. And I'm also gonna do this. So I'm gonna take this off the because I can unscrew it and wrap that so we got that done and now i just need to do the graphics card bracket all right so we have the front side of this this one and even the inside and i made it go a little bit further so it has enough space to let all the wirings through so the wires are through looks a little bit cleaner because there will be less dust falling down to the power supply and uh, i get the Right, the extension cables for the graphics card here. This one has to be plugged in here. So uh, now all I have to do is reinstall the graphics card and show how that looks. There we go, video card is back in and now you can see even the floor is carbon. And there's LEDs here. Ah, uh, can't, there. There are LEDs here so this will light up too. The, these have been there before and I have the side carbon. The surroundings on the Supply is carbon, and that should look really good. It does actually. So uh, everything is carboned out. Now I just gotta do the water cooling and maybe pan paint this one green. I'm not sure yet. I have that and that one green, that one black to suit with this one. So I have two choices to make this green and let this one be black or make the fan also black, which I might actually do. I'm not too sure. So that's it that's how it looks now and this one will be gone soon I have uh, the water block actually here so this is the water block looking pretty good 
will be much cleaner and uh, yeah so everything is carved out even the radiator I might rework this I didn't think it through this one is actually the top side at the bottom side I actually did really good so at the bottom side you can actually not see anything there which is really good but uh, yeah and of course this plate the bottom plate is also from carbon so uh, yeah I overdone it but uh, if you do something you should do it properly so everything is carboned out you have the top side of the core the front side of the core everything is in carbon now looking real slick so uh, we have carbon and green this is the big picture and I will do one more shot of it being on but that's the work I've done at the moment pretty nice so now it's on we still have the fade in underglow on the power supply and the carbon around the, carbon, uh, the power supply. Like I said, green LEDs right here, which I can control from the motherboard. We have the graphics cards and the logo in green. This logo in green, the side is lighting up in green. That's what the motherboard does. We have my RAM banks lighting up in green, which is harder to see right now, but as you can see, they light up in green the MSI logo under it and we have the fans lighting up in green all three light up in green but one of them is black you guys can be the judge of that if I should keep it like this as you can see it's it's not bad but I don't know it's not I think all three green would be better what I'm also might do is take them apart again which I already have done and put tape on the LED so only the ring would light up and not have these two spots here which light up more. I don't need the fans to light up since they already are green. So I just want the ring to light up. Uh, here it's not that terrible because it's black but I think I might do that. And I will put LEDs inside this and inside the reservoir so the fluid will light up. And in here the fluid will light up and I will have the same thing with the CPU block. I will light it up so that will look good. Good. but as you can see it's lighting up pretty lights in green and I can turn the lights off so this is how it looks in the dark most of the lights are off you have the underglow and uh, that's how it looks it's really hard to take that on video but uh, yeah not bad looking really good so that's how my core looks for now there will probably be only one more update video which will be the water cooling which will be either fun or horrible or both but uh, yeah looking good so that's the update on my core all carboned up like as you can see looking really good I like the theme I like the colors it's uh, better in real of course than on video but uh, yeah thanks for watching bye a good trick that actually a subscriber told me to do or try is as you can see the line looks a little bit less now it's uh, still visible but what I did is I took a black mark and pulled it over the line and it's still a little bit wet but it will pull in and look much better tomorrow so when you look from a distance you can barely see it and I also did the same here you can see it's a little bit marked up on video it looks much worse than in real especially because I'm shining a light on it and here too just pull a mark over it and after a while it would disappear and uh, yeah that's a good trick to get rid of these white lines some of these have pretty white lines, but uh, that's a suggestion I got, which works actually pretty decently. So uh, pull lines over, black lines over the, over the lines and it should be good.